everybody welcome back to our channel today I'm going to show you how to make this glitter heart um, t-shirt using supplies from Walmart and Dollar Tree so I just picked up this t-shirt from Dollar Tree some freezer paper a marker an exacto knife and iron some glitter and some Mod Podge so you're going to want to use this um, freezer paper it is for arts and crafts it's plastic coated on the back I traced out a heart and then drew this design for another project so I decided to trace it onto my freezer paper and cut it out with an exacto knife so using your iron you're going to use it shiny side down and iron it to the shirt so that it sticks like a stencil and then put some cardboard underneath of that to keep the um, Mod Podge from soaking through and sticking your shirt together. So now you're just going to use some Mod Podge glitter and a paintbrush. You're going to paint your Mod Podge on where you want it for whatever color glitter you're using. Since I'm using different colors of glitter, I worked in small sections and just did small pieces at a time. You just coat it with the Mod Podge and then sprinkle on your glitter and work in small sections all of the way around until you have all of your pieces filled in. Then I took some more freezer paper and I just rubbed my hands over top of it to help make sure all the glitter was stuck down and tomorrow I'll sh shake off the excess. You want to let your glitter and Mod Podge dry for at least 24 hours then carefully peel the freezer paper off of the shirt in small sections. So this is what you're left with. I absolutely love the way this turned out. They're really fun to make and there are um, so many possibilities. You can also use this technique to make pillow shams, decorate tote bags, table runners and so so much more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and here's some other videos you might also enjoy.